Hey guys, Brett Weiss here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. So today I have a fun topic. I want to talk about so-called dishonest Atari 2600 box art versus honest NES box art. So I'll get to that uh, in just a second. But very briefly, this episode is brought to you by Old School Gamer Magazine. This is a recent issue. Um, if you miss the days of Game Pro and Joystick and Electronic Games, Electronic Gaming Monthly, all those great old Nintendo Power, all those great old physical Nintendo magazines, go to oldschoolgamer.com and you can get a free digital subscription. Better yet, you can buy a physical subscription and quarterly get a magazine delivered directly to your house. It is awesome. It is like Christmas four times a year. It is so much fun to get each issue of Old School Gamer Magazine. Full color magazine with tons of great articles. So check it out. Old School Gamer Magazine uh, or OldSchoolGamer.com. Um, like I said, free digital subscription and you could subscribe to the physical edition for very cheap. All right, guys, let's get to the topic. Okay, so when Atari 2600 came out in 1977, Combat was the game that was packed with it. Awesome two-player game, still holds up well. And as you can see by the artwork, look at that. Really beautiful paintings, and they did that for a time uh, with their games with no screenshots on the back. So anybody buying this game, unless you'd played it at a friend's house or something, you had no idea what you were getting. You didn't know what kind of, what the graphics were gonna look like. You had no clue. And um, it doesn't look like this, needless to say. Combat is just simple tanks and planes and, you know, just real blocky, simple uh, graphics with, lot, you know, big spaces of black backgrounds. But Atari lets you, uh, your imagination run wild uh, with the box art. Now, interestingly, now a lot of pack-in games with systems like Donkey Kong for the ColecoVision, for example, you just got the cartridge. But Atari packed the box in with you, you know, with combat cartridge. Uh, so if you got your big Atari 2600 in the box, it came with boxed combat, pretty cool. Uh, another example is Missile Command, a great port for the 2600. Again, just a beautiful box art, you know, beautifully illustrated art. Again, no screenshots on the back, great game. Blackjack for the 2600, check that out. Fancy women, high stakes, you know, really cool. Look like a high roller there. And uh, Defender, I've got a factory sealed copy of Defender. And again, the box art is way more elaborate than the, now this actually has the screenshot on the back than the simple screenshot uh, that you see here of just the, you know, boxy looking buildings and simple ships and enemies and things. But again, you get like a really cool sci-fi future of some kind where uh, the earth is perhaps being invaded and uh, people running away from the alien invaders. But again, very deceptive. <laughs> Surround is just a simple, you know, one of the most simple games for the system. And it looks like you've got some kind of, you know, computer programmers there or some kind of, uh, you know, like N uh, NASA kind of thing or whatever, uh, perhaps of the future, uh, very deceptive. Anyway, so on and on and on. And I wanna show you Space Invaders is really interesting. So here's the early Space Invaders box. This looks like a Journey or Boston album cover. Really cool looking. And um, again, it's just a simple uh, game with, you know, simple alien invaders and your ship shooting them. But the box gives you the impression that it's gonna be something like Out of Forbidden Planet or whatever, something, you know, sh super futuristic and really elaborate. Again, no screenshot on the back, but a later version. Oh, another thing about this box. Uh, which was sort of dishonest by Atari, so to speak, 112 video games. Now, more truthfully, it's 112 video game, like, um, uh, you know, just iterations of the same game, you know, variations, I should say. 112 variations on Space Invaders, not 112 video games. Some great variations, um, Invisible Invaders, you know, two-player uh, action, lots of cool variations, uh, but not 112 separate video games. Now, interestingly, a later edition of Space Invaders, I believe this came out in 88, uh, it actually has a screenshot on the back and it says 112 game variations. So you get a little more honesty from this Atari box art. 
And then um, moving forward, Atari still kept doing, you know, the really elaborate paintings on the boxes, but they did include screenshots for later games. And you can, sell, you can see the evolution of the Atari games, how much better looking they got over time. You know, in the late 80s, there were some pretty darn good looking Atari 2600 games. Those early simpler titles are still a ton of fun. Uh, Dark Chambers, another example of a later release for the 2600, still using the fancy art. But they did give you screenshots on the back. All right, as a matter of fact, the Atari 2600 box art was so beautiful and so awesome, Tim Lapatino published an entire book on art of Atari and mostly box art. There's other art too in here, you know, just like advertising materials and stuff. But mostly it's all about, um, you know, the people that created the gorgeous box art and just beautiful, beautiful book. So Atari, Art of Atari. I will post a link to my uh, review of Art of Atari in the description of this video. And so anyway, let's get to the early NES titles the fabled black box games. There were 30 black, black box games, including the legendary Super Mario Brothers. Now, obviously they're called black box games because the boxes are black, very simple. And they have, instead of like really elaborate uh, paintings that you could find hanging in a museum, perhaps, like you see on the Atari 2600 games, the NES uh, boxes have really pixelated box art. And that's a more honest representation of what you get with the game. You know, the simple 8-bit graphics and everything. And, you know, NES games, for the most part, obviously look better than their 2600, you know, games. You know, it's a more advanced system. Came out later, has more power and everything. But the box art is more um, honest, so to speak, you know, because you get simple, more simple images. That's Super Mario Brothers, awesome, incredible game. I remember first playing Super Mario Brothers in 1987 when I got my... NES for Christmas, as I've told you guys many times, and I was blown away by it. Mario Brothers, I remember playing in the arcade with my friend Johnny. Love this game, one of the greatest two-player games of all time. And it makes me crazy when people call Super Mario Brothers Mario Brothers, because if I hear Mario Brothers, I'm thinking of this game. Again, pixelated art, and uh, on the front, and just very simple. And there's your screenshots on the back, very honest, showing you exactly what you're going to get there. And sort of a loose representation of what you're actually getting with the game on the front. And they did the same with Mock, Mock Rider and the other black box games. Now, later, Nintendo started using cartoon art for their box art, like with Donkey Kong Classics. Now, Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. are black box games, and later they put this, those two games on one cartridge and came out with Donkey Kong Classics. Now, I love this orange uh, box. I just think it's really neat. It really stands out. And I like the cartoonish artwork. I think that's really nice. And Nintendo, moving forward, they also, you know, Kirby's Adventure cartoon artwork. And uh, so not quite representative of what you're getting with the game, which is the 8-bit art. But regardless, very cool box art. So I'm curious, you guys, let me know what do you think. Let me know in the comments. Do you prefer Nintendo's early honest approach with the black box games or do you like their later cartoon artwork or do you like the Atari 2600 the gorgeous paintings you know the stuff that you could see you know perhaps hanging in a museum or featured in an incredible uh, book like Art of Atari now I, I can't feature I guess someday someone might come up with a book specifically about the black box games but there were only 30 of them and the art depicted, you know, just the simple uh, pixelated art, not really uh, museum worthy, I don't think, or uh, worthy of maybe a, an art book, because it's not the greatest art in the world, but it is more honest, and, it, and, and they are very distinctive. Uh, people have a pl special place in their heart for the black box games, because uh, so many of us, those were the first games we played on the um, NES, like Popeye and Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Super Mario Brothers and Mario Brothers, and uh, just those first 30 titles, Ice Climber, a lot of us just really have, um, you know, very much of a fondness for those games, regardless of the simple art. Or Some people like that. Let me know. Do you, do you prefer that over uh, the, more, um, the more stylized, fancier uh, art for the Atari 2600? All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for liking it. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. I guess I'll talk to you guys maybe in another video. Take care, guys. We'll see you.